What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, playing some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet on the rank double ladder for you guys today. Today, we are using Decidueye, not Isuian Decidueye, but normal Decidueye on the rank ladder. This team also consists of some very strong Pokemon like Urshifu, Shen Pao, Golden Go, Arcanine, and Iron Bundle. Should be a good one, we should be able to get Decidueye out there in a couple matches and grab you guys some wins. You guys already know the deal, if you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content. But I'm super surprised that I actually have not used this Pokemon yet. I use pretty much every single starter in their Hisuian form and in their regular form besides Decidueye, and I absolutely love Decidueye, I love his design, and I absolutely love his uh, typing with Grass and Ghost. I think it's such a cool typing, so super excited to be using them today. But our first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Shen Pao. Shen Pao, obviously one of the best in regulation D with Swords of Ruin and a Focus Ash. And then move set is straight up Ice Spinner, Sacred Sword, Sucker Punch, and Protect. You guys seen this plenty of times before. In our second slot is the star of the show. It is going to be Decidueye over here with Long Reach as its ability and a Life Orb as its item. It's got Shadow Sneak, Leaf Blade, Tailwind, and Spirit Shackle. Absolutely loving this moveset because it has two heavy hitting stat moves. It has a first turn priority move, and on top of that, it has Tailwind for nice big time speed control for the rest of the team. In our third slot, we got Golden Go. And we used Golden Go not in the last video, but I think the video before that, and this Pokemon really showed out. It's got Good as Gold with the Choice Specs as its item. Then it's got Make It Rain, Terra Blast with the Water Terror, and then Shadow Ball and Dazzling Gleam. In our fourth slot, we got Urshfu, and not the Water Urshfu, we're actually using the Dark Urshfu, who does not get that much love in, in Regulation D. It has Unseen Fist, the Black Glasses, and it has Detect, Wicked Blow, Close Combat, and Sucker Punch. Still very, very strong Pokemon, but it's just not as good as its, uh, as its brother, as I like to call it, the Water Urshfu. Arcanine is in our fifth slot, Hisuian Arcanine with Intimidate, and the Air Balloon, it's got E-Speed, Rock Slide, Flare Blitz, Protect, a very strong Pokemon when you pair it up next to Shen Pao. In our final slot, we got Iron Bundle, and Iron Bundle's great on the special attacking side, plus it's very good at speed control with Icy Wind and the Booster Energy as its item. It's got Cork Drive as its ability, and then its other three moves are Freeze Dry, Encore, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on at Mac Double Ladder, let's grab some wins with this, this Decidueye Regulation D team. First match coming at you guys, and it is a brand new month, meaning it is a brand new season in the rank ladder. So we're 0 0. We're hopping into our first match back in the Great Ball tier. Our master tier climb starts now. But uh, we're going up against Gengar, and Gengar is a super cool Pokemon alongside with Gothitelle, and then they got Screamtail, so Parish Song, Parish Trap kind of combo they want to go into. And they also have Amoongus, Palafin, and Gudra. Gotta watch out for that bulky Gudra, but I really like having Urshfu in the back end. Kind of clean that up, so I definitely want to bring an Urshfu. Uh, I could lead the Sijuai. The Sijuai actually is pretty solid up against a few. So I am going to end up leading that Pokemon. And I think I'm going to lead it with Shen Pao. I like having both of them out on the field. I like them there. And then Urshu in the back end alongside with Iron Bundle or Arcanine. I'm um, kind of leaning towards Iron Bundle. I like Iron Bundle. It's got Freeze Shrag. going to be super effective onto the Palafin, onto the Moongus. Yeah, I'm digging it. Plus, you get some speed control if need be. I'm all about it. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one and our first match for the brand new season. But using the Sijuai today, and the Sijuai is one of those Pokemon. It's kind of, you don't see it a lot because it's not that good. But we're trying to use it. I got to grab some wins for you guys. It's just such a cool Pokemon that I haven't showcased yet. And I really want to use it. But Palafin alongside with Amoongus come out here. And from here, I think setting up the Tailwind. Or you know what? Let's Leaf Blade into Amoongus. Where do I Leaf Blade into Palafin? Does he get Terrasilize? He can easily Terrasilize. He can easily Terrasilize. You know what? I'm going to Leaf Blade into Amoongus just in case he wants to Terrasilize. If you protect, you protect, but it's not that big of a deal. I just think there's a chance of him Terrasilizing into straight water typing. Which would be fine by me. That's why I want to Leaf Blade into the sink just in case. Hopefully he doesn't protect and he just swaps Palafin and gets a free turn. That'd be a big play for him, but I see a Water Terror coming out more so than, than a Protect. He ends up hard swapping, goes into Gengar. And show me that Water Terror. Or just don't Terror at all. Okay, cool, that's fine, you don't Terror at all. The Ice Spinner's gonna fly here and she's gonna bring you down to that. Can Leaf play KO? Awesome. <laughs> I needed that to KO. So we get rid of Amoongus, which is big time. And we'll go from there. So from here, 
from here, I think maybe terrestrializing the Sijuai could be the play. Palafin's a little annoying. Where do I keep that typing? Hmm. I'm thinking of just terrestrializing and going for a Leaf Blade into this thing. And maybe just Sucker Punch a Gengar. Yeah, I like it. I can get down with that. The reason I went Thrasslash is just in case Gengar Sash and he wants to go for Ghost Move onto my, uh, onto my Decidueye. So I'm going to Thrasslash Fairy here. Decidueye getting after it. Already has one KO. Picked up about five damage on the Moongus, but I'll take that. The Zucker Punch is going to fly here. That's going to put Gengar to Sash like I predicted. And this is exactly why I Thrasslash. I'm not dealing with the Shadow Ball coming in here. We can Jet Punch this. We survived that. You Shadow Balling? Come on, man. I, I, I got this. I, that's good. I, I get the reads, man. I'm all about the reads. So the Sigiwai is going to hit hard. It is going to dump on Palafin. It is Life Orb. It is next to Shen Pao. It is Stab. It is super effective. Come on, man. I'm reading your Shadow Ball all day. And I read your item. I knew you were Sash. I knew you were going for Shadow Ball. That's too easy for me. Gudra's going to be the final Pokemon. And I'm really fine with Gudra. I got Urshifu in the back end. I got Iron Bundle. Everything's going to be chilling here. So from here, I'm just going to drop a nice little Shadow Sneak. And I'm just going to go into a Sacred Sword here. And I think our opponent has a hot chance to cancel in this battle after the Sijuai just pieced it up. Pieced it up. Sijuai getting after it. But we're going to see a nice little Terror type come out from the Gudra. And I'm curious to see what type it is. I have plenty of Pokemon to deal with this. It's going to be Fairy. That is like the only typing that we keep. we're not super effective against. That is wild. That is actually wild. The one typing. That honestly hurts, man. Hmm. I just gotta start just attacking that thing. Go for a life, dude. I mean, I KO you with a sucker punch all day, Gengar. Still just gonna shadow sneak into it. That's wild. <laughs> that is wild, but I'm gonna shadow sneak into Gengar. I'm gonna go for the ice spinner into the Gudra now. But the one typing, like, I thought we had so much coverage. But honestly, if he goes into like a shelter one turn, I'm just gonna encore him with a uh, with bundle and just try to keep it in there. But we should be fine. We have four Pokemon. We should just be able to start slowly chipping up damage and getting after it. But ice spinner's gonna fly. I can definitely see a body press coming out here or even a shelter. We'll see what they want to do. It's going to be a shelter. So shelter, shelter, shelter. Leftovers probably cooking here too. Um, do I swap the Sijuai? Maybe. I think we do. I think we swap now. Just in case he wants to go for a double shelter. I'm going to swap the Sijuai into that. And I'm just going to go for an ice spinner. Because if he goes to a shelter this turn, like I said, I can just encore it. And keep it in there for as long as I want. God dang, Gujra, so annoying. He's lucky I have four Pokemon. I've been so annoyed. So I, I could see it going into a shelter. I could see it going into a body press here. I think he has a lot of different options, but I'm kind of predicting the shelter here. That's why I swapped him for the Iron Bundle. Let's see, is it a shelter? It is. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to Encore it, and then I'm just going to start slapping it up. You, sir, will be sheltering for the rest of the match. We're not we're not allowing this Gujra to reverse sweep me here. <laughs> it's just not happening. I, I will not allow it. So I'm going to Encore you. You can shelter for the rest of the match. We're just going to keep throwing ice spinners at you. Encore. The one move that's going to screw you over. Here you go. Happy birthday. Come on. You think it's going to be that easy up against jeans? We're Encoring you all day. You are not moving. You simply are not moving. Because <laughs> he was going to... He was probably life doing that turn or something. Trying to get some HP back. But I feel as my Iron Bundle could have done some nice damage onto it. But Body Press would have ripped him in me. Would have been terrible. So Gudra is now encored for the next two turns, and when it becomes unencored, then we're just gonna encore again. So I see your opponent just cancel the battle. We're gonna ice spinner, we're gonna freeze dry, and he's not gonna cancel the battle. He's gonna stay in here. He's got the soul best. Look how bulky this thing would have been. Would have been such a pain. But still, it's forced to shelter. Its attack stats or its defense stats will not go any higher. And yeah, nice little place by us. Swap into the iron bundle at the perfect time. And I believe that's a sweep, right? We got all four of our Pokemon? Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy for Jeans, man. 
put me back down the great ball tier. I'm a sweep all day. I'm a sweep all day when you do that to me. But Freeze Rider's gonna come out here, put Gudra on about a half of it HP, and then Ice Spinner's gonna finish this one off. 1 0 to get things started. Hot start for your boy. Second match is on its way. We just killed it with the Sidui, hoping to do the same thing in match number two and guarantee ourselves a winning record. But we're going up against a tough team. We're going up against a Sneasler team. I should say Psychic Seed Sneasler, because it's paired up with Indeedy, and that's exactly what it is. But they also have Shen Pao Dragonite for Rigoraf, who I love. I'm loving for Rigoraf lately. Ever since I used it a couple videos ago, I just fell in love with it, even though I loved it before. Then they also have Iron Hands as their last Pokemon, but I think they're going to lead Sneasler alongside with Indeedee, pop the Psychic Seeds, and kind of get after it that way. And I mean, that that's kind of fine. I mean, I don't really mind it too much. I could go into Urshifu, which is not too bad of a play, but we can't Sucker Punch, which would be the only problem, right? I do have the attack that could start detecting, and I could also Tailwind on top of that, which would be lovely. And what's your Terra type is the real question? Poison. Nice little poison. Mmm. Okay, I feel you. I understand. Um, hmm, I kind of want to get off Tailwind. Well, you know, what? I can just go Bundle alongside maybe with Intimidate. Man, I kind of like that. Kind of like Intimidating and then bringing Urshfu and Shen Pao in the back end. I think that could be really good for us because I do believe they're going to lead the Sneasel combo, right? They're going to lead Sneasel. And that, that, that combo is a little annoying. It definitely is a little annoying, so... I want to try to get after it. I do want to try to get after it. So we're not bringing the Sidui in this match. We used it in the last match. I'll try to use it in the third one, but I want to look to grab ourselves a win here. Love going 2-0 right off the rip and then using the third and final battle for just just battling. <laughs> but uh, they're going to go Pult and Shen Pao, which is kind of an annoying combo. I mean, I'm going to boost the energy up, which is lovely. So I could Ice Human and just uh, slow down everybody. But on top of this, I am going to intimidate the Shen Pao, which is big time. So we intimidate the Pao of Shins. Um. Hmm. Do I go into an icy one? Do I freeze dry? I think I do want to slow down everybody. So I'm going to slow down everybody, and I'm just going to drop a Rock Slide, or do I Flare Blitz? I think I'm just going to Flare Blitz into Shen Pao. I am going to Flare Blitz into Shen Pao. Let's see what he does. Could end up protecting, terrestrializing. I really like where we're at. I, I like this lane. Let's see, Shen Pao just hard swap, which I wouldn't mind at all. But if I can land this Icy Wind and he doesn't terrestrialize, then I can just Flare Blitz get rid of Shen Pao and kind of get rolling from there, which is pretty good for us. So we'll see. Dragapult's definitely choice ban. I feel like all Dragapults in Regulation D are choice ban. He ends up just staying in here. So he's going to take some nice damage from Icy Wind on Dragapult. Shen Pao is going to go down on speed. Then on top of that, as long as, uh, yeah, I was going to say, as long as Arcanine doesn't die out here, Shen Pao's dead. Cool. Take it all day. It's so Arcanine. You should be able to outspeed, don't you? You do not. That hurts, but still. I'll take that. I'll still take it. I'll still take it. So we're going to get rid of you. We'll take an Iron Bundle trade for Shen Pao. That's fine. I think it's just so fast. Even minus one Arcanine's on that speed. Mate. So I get rid of it, and now from here I could bring out my Shen Pao. Or I could bring out my Urshifu. Who would I rather have out here? Who would Jeans rather have out here? Probably my Shen Pao. Probably my Shen Pao. Well, of course indeed he comes out here. That actually is awful. We hate that. We don't like that. The one Pokemon. So Sneasler's probably the back end Pokemon, because I really want to go for first turn priority here. I really want to go for East Speed. I mean, I can Ice Spinner and get rid of the terrain first and foremost. Which could be good for us. But the thing is, I don't really want to protect. And the reason I don't want to protect is because then both Dragon Darts goes after my Shen Pao. And I don't know if he can eat that up. What tire type? You got Ghost. Eh. Put a Hard Swap Bark on him. I'm sure to protect them. I think we'll be fine. We'll see what this one plays out here. So he's gonna end up terrestrializing. And he's definitely choice bandit, correct? He's gonna terrestrialize indeed into what typing? It's a fairy. The Shen Pao might just go down here, but if I can get rid of terrain, that's big time. I need to get rid of terrain. 
Protect might have not been the call. We'll see, because this thing, again, is going to be Choice Bandit. And Dragon Darts is just going to double down the Shen Pao, right? Hmm. Can you eat? Can you eat? You should be able to eat. Only the 75. My man, Pots and Pans. Cool. Now Ice Spinner flies here. We get rid of Terrain, which is big time. We're doing half damage. And uh, from here... From here, I'm just going to protect you. I'm just going to go East speed I don't care if Arcanine goes down. I need Shen Pao for a couple turns. Let's see what indeed he's going for. Follow me again. No, follow me comes out here. But East speed's going to chuck up some damage. He's going to drag it Oh, follow me does come out here. This is East speed when people are in. Dragon Darts is now going to fly here. And this is, this is so annoying. If this thing is that much faster. This thing is cooking. Now the real question is, will Sucker Punch come out before Follow Me? I kind of need it to, right? I kind of need it to. So I'm going to go Sucker Punch, and from here... Do we go Poison Terror? Or not yet? Wicked Blow is going to KO, so I'm just going to hit this thing with Wicked Blow. And this will Sucker Punch go before Follow Me? I don't think it will. I think East Speed does because it's higher priority. But I'm hoping Sucker Punch does because if Sucker Punch does, we can honestly lock up this match. We might honestly end up swapping Indeedy just to get Terrain back later. No, six with the Follow Me. Follow Me comes out here. Sucker Punch is going to do nothing. You should get Dragon Darts again. Dragon Darts come down here. Ripping it. Ripping into me. Just ripping into me. Hurts the soul, man. Hurts the soul. Dee Dee doing me so dirty. So from here we wicked blow. Um I still have Terra. I still have Terra. And we're gonna have to sucker punch uh dra uh Dragon Pole here. But if I had to guess, it's gonna be Sneezler as the final point. It's gotta be Sneezler, right? This Sneasler. But it won't have its Psychic Seed, so... We're not going to outspeed it anyway. It's so fast. It does have Fake Out, so I'm just going to Detect here. And then I'll Sucker Punch. Rough second match. Indeed he doing this dirty. It's always the Support Mons. Support Mons can come in so clutch. But we'll see. We'll see. We still have a shot at this for sure. Because I'm still going to Terrasalize next turn, too. I am going to Terrasalize. Rise didn't go for fake out. We're gonna see what move it's going for. You going for close combat, probably? Acrobatics. Yeah, we definitely have Terrasalize. <laughs> we definitely got Terrasalize. I'm gonna Terrasalize here. I'm gonna Sucker Punch. I'm gonna get rid of you. And we'll go from there. I mean, I actually like him going for Acrobatics, right? I would like that because you're not- you're- you still have your item. And it's not stabbed, so it's only, like, it's not doing crazy damage. So he should be able to survive in acrobatics. I think it's two acrobatics is a little bit of a problem. Sucker Punch gonna fly here. We get rid of Dragon Ball. I just don't, I don't see his camera sneeze. I really don't. And the Dire Claw is gonna come in here. Doing that much. Watch, gonna put me to sleep. It does not. We can eat up another Dire Claw. But all of our moves are just so weak. I guess we'll go for a Wicked Blow. Just in case we can eat up a shot. Actually, we probably should just went for close combat, but... Mm. Sneezler and the typing doing me dirty. Doing me dirty. Good old Sneezler. But yeah, match number two. Not going our way. We're going to end up losing this one. Unless they make a big time mistake here. Sneezler's going to die or call. We're able to eat. Which is good. And Wicked Blow is going to fly here. I mean, can we bring it low enough to... Meet? Oh, I probably should have close combat at that turn. Honestly, I should have close combat it. Actually, I think they do about the same amount of damage. But this one's crit, so you get the uh, the boost from it. But from here, I'm going to Sucker Punch. Hope that I get a KO. Would Detecting do anything for me? I don't think we KO with a Sucker Punch, but we're going to try. Definitely going to try. Sucker Punch comes out here. And we do, yo. We get that comeback clutch, yo. Come on, man. I thought that one was an L for us. But, yo, I'll take that all day. Your boy staying in the match, thinking it out, going 2-0.
Third and final match is here, and I'm so surprised that that sucker punch KO'd in match number two. We'll take it all day. I definitely thought that match was over and we were losing it, but yo, we end up coming out on top. Now we're hopping into a third and final battle, and we are 2-0. Oh. Gonna lead the Sidiwai here. We're going up against more Sneasel action, but uh, I think we should be fine. We're going to go to the Sidiwai just because I want to use it a little bit more. And then in the second slot, I think Shen Pao should be solid. I am scared of the, uh, of the Regilecki. Regilecki is a little bit of a problem, right? Really, really fast. Hits like a truck. Rain's going to be a problem, too. This one's going to be a problem. This one's tough. This one's tough. But I am going to go in with Shen Pao in the, as the second Pokemon. And then I think nice little back end. Deli Bird and Urshfu is going to be the call. Because we, we want a little bit of first turn priority. We want the Ice Pokemon with Freeze Dry, Icy Wind, Speed Control. Really, really good for us. So we're going to need it. We are going to need it. Like, this one looks like it's going to be a problem. Like, everybody knows, like, Rain Squads, if you can't really, like, control the rain or anything you're usually getting to, uh, torn up by it. So I think that's going to be the case in this match right here. I think to go Indeedee Sneezer, I'd like to have it the lead here. And then in the back end, it's got to be Pelipper and uh, Bash Legion, right? But Sneezer's really, really good. Sneezer's annoying, though. Um, I really want to thrash the lies, but I don't think any of my terror types are that good. So from here, I'm going to take out Terrain. I'm going to go after the Sneezer slot here. And ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm going to try to set up the Tailwind. I'm going to go Ice Spinner. I'm going to take out the Strain and we'll go from there. I'm going to see a Terrasilize from them. Is that going to be Indeedy Terrasilizing? Just like the last match? And it's going to be Sneasel. Going into a nice, lovely little air type. So he wants to go for Acrobatics. He is going to take out my Decidueye. I knew I should Terrasilize. So Decidueye getting absolutely ripped here. The Decidueye is dead, Sneasler is dead. Actually, no, Sneasler's not dead because he followed me. But the Decidueye is, is dead over here. Good old Acrobat coming in. See you, Decidueye. He's gone. Hurts the soul. <laughs> Hurts the soul. Just have the Decidueye die out like that. Shit, Terrasilize. But I, I thought maybe they would go for the poison move, right? I thought that could have been the play. I mean, that happens, and now we can go into a Deadly Bird. Where do I go into you? Huh. I think we're just gonna go to Deli Bird. I might just protect here. We might just protect. Because Deli Bird should be fastest on the field, which is gonna be big time for us. And I feel as could protect you. But I do have Sash. I mean, I could just go for Freeze Dry. But if you guys were following me, I don't think Freeze Dry caters you, so. Hmm. So yeah, I'm just gonna protect you. And I'm just gonna Ice Spinner and throw her in the Sneezer slot. But if they follow me, follow me. Oh, wow, you end up just protecting. End up just protecting. So he's gonna take off my Sash. Wow. Sneezer's just so good. Sneezer is just awesome. Ice Spinner's just gonna get blocked and they get a free shot here. Unless you're going after my Iron Bundle. Nope, it's just a Gleam. You're gonna take off my Sash, like I said. Oh man. Oh man. Um. <laughs> this is so tough. It's so annoying. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna double down to Sneasel here. So Icy Wind's gonna KO the Sneeze, or not KO the Sneeze. Are you still out, you don't speed my bundle? Wow. This thing be cooking. This thing be cooking. Unless I read my booster energy wrong. Real tough for us. I don't, I don't see us being out of this one, but uh. We got some nice back end Pokemon here. Did I read my booster energy wrong? Let me see real quick. Wait, were you boosting special attack? No, you were boosting speed, and that Sneasler still outspeeding you with Unburden. God dang, that thing's fast. That thing is cooking. Cooking is understatement. How come Regilecki? Um, we have no damage on any of these guys. Um, I have Focus Ash on. On this guy right here. I have Poison Terror, which 
I think mm, we might want to do. And I'm just gonna wicked blow, and on top of that, I'm gonna go for a sucker punch into the sneezer slot. I could protect. Do I protect? No. We're getting after it. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Terrasalize you, we're gonna go for a wicked blow. Into the venture slot. And then I'm just gonna sucker punch it onto the sneezer. Okay, cool. So wow, yo, Sneezer like doing us dirty here. Luckily it's match number three, we're already two and one, getting some work done. But the CGI I got absolutely ripped on. <laughs> it just died out. I kind of forgot that that thing was rocking acrobatics. The Sucker Punch gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing? We're KOing. So we're in this game. We are here. Sucker Punch just ripping into that thing. Gee, Shen Pao, I'll leave him alone. Thunderbolt's gonna fly here. And we Terrasalize, which is good, but they get a crit and just KO me! Come on with that! Come on with the crit! Crit Thunderbolt for the win? Cause from here, I would've wicked blew that thing, and then, uh, would've been pretty, pretty much set from there. Wouldn't have been set, but I would've put that thing down to 1 HP or even KO'd it. And then I could've just Sacred Sword that thing, but, you know what, this is getting out of hands now. But I'll go for a sucker punch, see how much damage we can do onto this uh, Reg Lucky. And that's gonna be game set match. Easily. Gonna be game set match. Yeah, man, we could have won this one. Probably. We could have won this one easily. But hey, nice little bit of RNG comes out from our opponents. We go 2 and 1 for today's video. Grab you guys another winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We can check another box under winning record category. Two and one for today's video. Absolutely love the scene, but the CGI definitely a little underwhelming. Match number one, it actually did really, really good, but it ended up just getting dumped on in match number three. Really, really underwhelming. Like I said, that's why a lot of people do not use this Pokemon. But this team is filled with some nice meta Pokemon. Really, really strong. If you guys want to rent it yourself, it's at top right hand corner. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. So you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.